outgoing California Congresswoman Katie Hill gave a goodbye speech earlier today. The Democrat is resigning after allegations of affairs prompted an ethics investigation. She addressed her colleagues from the House floor after voting for impeachment proceedings against President Trump. Hill said a, quote, double standard and misogynistic culture had forced her to step down. Ever since those images first came out, I've barely left my bed. I've ignored all the calls and the texts. I went to the darkest places that a mind can go, and I've shed more tears than I thought were possible. I've hidden from the world because I'm terrified of facing the people that I let down. But I made it through because the people who love me most dragged me back into the light and reminded me that I was stronger than that. I will never shirk my responsibility for this sudden ending to my time here. But I have to say more because this is bigger than me. I am leaving now because of a double standard. I'm leaving because I no longer want to be used as a bargaining chip. I'm leaving because I didn't want to be peddled by papers and blogs and websites used by shameless operatives for the dirtiest gutter politics that I've ever seen and the right wing media to drive clicks and expand their audience by distributing intimate photos of me taken without my knowledge, let alone my consent for the sexual entertainment of millions. I'm leaving because of a misogynistic culture that gleefully consumed my naked pictures, capitalized on my sexuality, and enabled my abusive ex to continue that abuse, this time with the entire country watching. I am leaving because of the thousands of vile, threatening emails, calls, and texts that made me fear for my life and the lives of the people that I care about. Earlier this month, conservative media outlets published explicit photographs of Hill with a campaign staffer. Stories allege Hill and her now estranged husband were involved in an extramarital relationship with a female campaign aide. Hill said it was consensual. She's also been accused of having an affair with her legislative director, a claim which she denies.